Val, I, we know you got hurt in dress rehearsal earlier today, and it looked pretty bad. Tell us what happened. Uh, she, she accidentally hit me in the, in the eye with her elbow, which is all right. You know, it happens. I've been hit in the face many times before. Uh, I just, uh, you, you know, your... I was nervous that I wasn't going to be able to dance for, for legal issues, but I'm good, you know? I'm good. I want her to enjoy the moment. I want her to focus on herself. And, uh, you know, this is, this is temporary. Well, okay. I know you've got your game face on and you would never let her down. And, and you were a little bit freaked out. It was a lot of blood. How were you able to squeeze that out and focus on what Carrie Ann was asking you for to find the perfect balance between technique, content, and doing your own thing? Just focus, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot going on. There's a lot, you know, to think about. But I just need to enjoy myself. You know, it's the last time I'll be able to be out on the stage with him. So I just wanted to enjoy it. I'm here with... Gosh, a banged up and bruised Val and Zendaya. But you know what? We also, the Twitter fans were saying leaving it all on the dance floor. And I think you kind of did tonight, man. Yeah. What, I mean, how do you recover from something like this? Because it's the finals and you just put your head down and dance. How do you just. I you mean, do? it's pretty surreal that it happened. I mean, honestly, it would only happen to me. I don't think there's anybody else that that kind of shit happens to. But, you know, I, I kind of handled it with stride. I didn't hesitate for a second. I mean, I didn't know the extent of the the, the cut. I, you know, she hit me. She hit me many times before. I was hoping, you know, I felt, I felt I felt the little drip and I got upset because I knew, okay, I'm bleeding. But then I didn't know how much I was bleeding until, you know, until I went and I looked at it in the mirror and everybody panicked and everybody looks at me and go, oh my, I was like, what, what, what? And, uh, yeah, it's a deep cut, but it's okay. You know, I'm going to go get stitches right now. And, All right. You know, I know I gotta, we got to get you out of here so quickly, Zendaya. I wanted to ask something. Val, you said that everyone's focused. Everyone's got these mirror ball trophies except you. And you said, why am I going to focus on what, not what I don't have instead of what I do? So, Zendaya, what does Val have? What has he taught you this season that's going to bring home that trophy for tomorrow? He teaches me so much every day. I mean, today. I mean, he taught me how to persevere and not let anything stop you and not let anything, you know, put you away from your goal. And like, like even when you literally possibly could not do it, he's still here. So I think that that's an amazing thing. And I'm going to take all his life lessons that he's given me these past few few months and I'm going to keep them and use them because I'm going to need them for the next <laughs> next few years of my life. All right, so they left it all on the dance floor with a lot of heart and courage, but we got to keep them here, guys, for tomorrow night. So for Team Valdaya, I'm JC, and we'll buzz you guys later. I'm losing blood. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? Oh, my God, man. I started bleeding, and it's a cut this deep, and it is a cut this deep. Uh, but what, what, what is a man? So I don't think it's very masculine to, to whine about your injuries. I think you got to suck it up and... Keep it moving and, and keep the attention on what's important. You know what I mean? This is not my show. This is not a show about my injuries. It's a show about her dancing, and I wanted the focus to stay on, on what we're doing here. I was scared, you know what I'm saying, because it's it's not easy to see. You know, blood rushing all over your face, and you're looking at that, and you don't know what to do, and he just kept smiling, which I know is just keep going, you know what I'm saying, and I was worried after, but he told me he was good, and, you know, I trust him to tell me what's really you know what's really going on and he said I'm good just do you and, and do it right <laughs> and don't don't hold back so that's what I did and and it worked she stepped up she danced very well I had a lot of fun it was a great night I feel good oh I'm gonna get stitches I need stitches I that, that's what I was worried about I was worried that you know it's gonna keep pouring 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 and I'm gonna go you know I'm gonna need stitches and if I was gonna go get stitches then I wouldn't have time to make it back so thank God the blood subsided, but now, you know, I got to go take care of that. <laughs> How are you holding up? I'm good. I'm great. I'm you, good. What was your concern going out tonight with the injury? My concern, I mean, the dress when the injury happened, we went last, so it was at the end of the dress. It was literally an hour before the show. So I was, I mean, everybody panicked. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they were talking, there were talks about replacing me, and that was not gonna happen. So I was just praying that it wasn't, it was gonna stop bleeding, which thank God it did, because it's a very deep cut, and uh, you know it's like a boxer's cut, like it's, it's deep and it's underneath, you know, on the eyelid, so it's it just opened. You must have felt something like, like, like when you're doing those moves and stuff. Did you feel like kind of a pulse, or any of this affect your? Uh, you got tens, but, so I mean, look, uh, my back is killing me. 
You know what I mean? Like seriously killing me. My shoulder is killing me. This honestly took my mind off of all that pain and, and just kind of, honestly, I was really stressed out. This happened, it kind of gave me like an adrenaline and, and just cooled me down. And I'm, I'm, I'm lucky that it happened actually because it made me enjoy the moment a lot more. I knew when it happened, I was like, man, I'm, I already knew it was bad. And then I was like going to the dress rehearsal and I had blood all over his face. And I'm like, I, I just had to keep going because I know I know he wants me to keep going. He's kept smiling, so that's the cue to just keep on going. I don't care. Just keep moving. During the performance tonight, were you a little nervous though? I mean, when it came to that part, I was nervous. But I mean, honestly, I, I, I he was okay and he told me he was okay. And I trust him to tell me that it's actually okay. No, I told her not to, not to, you know, not to like cool it just because she's not, you know what I mean? Don't hesitate. Go for it. The same energy, same. I'll get hit again, I'll get hit again. You know, it, it's irrelevant. Like, the important thing is that her performance was to the level necessary and that we, well, it's been three and a half months of body aches and, and just a lot of effort. This is the least thing that's gonna hold me back from the trophy, you know what I mean? Or hold us back or hold her back from getting what she deserves. Oh my gosh, we got a, we got, 65, a little bloodied, but tell me what happens now. What happens now? Yeah, I'm what gonna, do you do now? I just, you know, dress was, was about an hour before the live show, so uh -huh. I didn't have time to go get stitches. So uh, luckily it didn't swell up. Luckily I, I'm not bleeding too much. So, you know, I could dance. And so now I'm going to go to the hospital and get stitches. <laughs> it okay. It is a little bloody. It uh, is. I'm just looking at it right now. Sorry, it's deep. Yeah. It's a deep cut, but it's okay. Those are some sharp elbows. <laughs> Which one was it? Was it right here? <laughs> this one. Uh, Zendaya, your heart must have sunk. I felt so bad because as soon as it happened, I was like, oh, man. And I was like, oh, I was just hoping that it was just, you know, you know, a little bruise. You know, I've done that right. before. Hopefully that's what it was. And then we kept going. And there was just blood just dripping all over his face. And every time I looked at him, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And I just, I just, you know, I had to keep going because he was smiling. And if he was smiling, then that means keep the going. The worst she could have done is stop. Then I would have been upset. But, you know, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. And it's all good. And she messed up this perfect face here. I mean, that was the only imperfection yeah. on the whole face. I mean, I think for a man, scars make a man look better. So <laughs> I, I appreciate it. I got split lip. I already had a scar there. Now I have another scar in the knee. Scar there, scar there, scar there. So yeah. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, women like men who look like they can take it. Right. Talk about your eye. It looks horrible, but you're going to tell me that it's nothing? George, you, you don't even know how bad it looks, to be honest. Underneath it's, there? That's a serious. A, you could see bone underneath that, yeah. I'm serious. It's, it was a deep cut, you know, like the boxer's cut, but it was all good. It was all good. The funniest thing was her face, because it happened in the beginning of the dance. And dress rehearsals are really important, you know, you got to finish. And she looked at me, I was like, don't stop. Don't stop. And, the, and, and then the craziest thing was by the time we got to the kids' part, I had already blood all over my face. So when I ran around, and the kids are like, ready and then they see my face <laughs> I see their face <laughs> we're all scared oh we didn't know God. what to do I was just like and he just kept smiling so I was like apparently he's fine I don't even know if he knows that blood is dripping all over him right now all right I can ask one more question then you can go um, win or lose what have you accomplished here I've accomplished more than I thought I could possibly accomplish I've done things I never thought possible and I'm you know I get to say that even though it doesn't really matter to me I'm 16 and I'm here and I made it to the finals and I mean, I get to take that with me forever, so I'm very happy.